It's May the 6th and we're continuing in our series of interviews for our centenary celebrations. This afternoon we're joined by Michael Blows. Michael has the distinction of being both a student here, then later a English coordinator, finally spending some time here as a deputy and is currently principal of St Pat Sutherland. So thank you for joining us, Michael. Thank you, Derek. Maybe you'd like to tell us a little bit about where you grew up in life before you arrived here at Morris Cogra. Um, I was at uh, primary school at St Gabriel's at Bexley, and uh, mum and dad used to own the uh, uh, news agent that was on Stony Creek Road. And so um, I was from, left uh, St Gabriel's in year four and, and uh, started at uh, Morris Brothers Cogra in uh, 1971, in Year 5. And your memories of the school from 1971? Well, I was in Brother Herbert Jones's uh, Year 5 class, and so my memories are uh, rather extraordinary ones, as he was a pretty extraordinary larger-than-life figure. Uh, way ahead of his time, um, with um, uh, 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 the earliest use of uh, electronic media and a whole range of different things that, that he did that no other teacher would do. Yeah. Very old school, was he in his way of doing things, yeah, or modern? pretty yeah. much so. We, I do remember that, that he uh, had a particular way of getting us to learn grammar, and we will never forget uh, the subject and object of uh, particular sentences because we were, uh, um, yeah, we were belted if we didn't get it right. Okay. We were, um, remember, um, uh, we were John Fitzpatrick, and he said he was old school in many ways. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And John was saying, yeah, year five was stood out with him with Brother Herbert. So, so, so you moved through the primary years here onto high school. What were those days like? Um, look, they were, they, were, they were great days. They were, they were days where, um, uh, look, school was good, it was interesting. Oh, look, it, um, it had its days that were better than others. Um, uh, a lot of... It was, the, it was a changeover. When I started high school, uh, there would have been a good number of brothers that, that were still there, but certainly by the time that I'd finished... There were very few brothers in the school, and it was during that period of time where the, there was a uh, where there was a significant change from uh, Morris Brothers to uh, lay staff taking over the staffing. So you complete your high school certificate here in 1978, and uh, had Tim McMullen as my uh, modern history teacher, and uh, brother Robert O'Connor as my uh, English teacher, and and both of those uh, inspired me in, in, in many ways that. Uh, to take up teaching after I, I finished here at, as a student. So university teaching obviously follows. Eventually you end up back here as English coordinator. When was that? Gee, that would, uh, I'd been teaching in Cairns and Ramwick before that and, uh, and then um, it would have been uh, probably, I, I've been thinking in, in about 1992, 1993, I think yeah. that I started as English coordinator here and uh, co-education in year 11 and 12 when I returned. So it was a different place again. And each time I've come back to Cogra, it's been a different place. Um, it's had a new lease of life and different things that have happened, and that's been the case. Uh, it was great having co-education in year 11 and 12, and um, the girls certainly uh, gave uh, some great energy to, uh, to the school and, and um, yeah, gave it a different life that it hadn't happened be had, had before. Yeah. So you moved from, I think, from here to Morris at Parramatta for a time? That's right. And then you come back for a third time? That's as, right. Um, well, well, I was it, the, the, number of, yeah. the number of years I've had more than a third of my uh, life um, at uh, Morris uh, College Cogra, or its different names that it's had over, over the time. Of, uh, um, and when I, when I came back, the next time I, I came back as uh, assistant principal, and that had been after I'd been deputy principal at uh, Parramatta Morris. And again, by that stage, the, the, that it was it was different. Again, the girls had left, and um, it was a, a big and bold and very successful place. Okay, L looking at all those experiences, then, and ma maybe looking at a question from a twofold point of view, what would you see as being the strength of the place, and how do you think the place has changed oh, look, since seventy one? You know, I say that the place has changed over time, and it has. It's like a, any any great organisation; it's changed and adapted as the as the times have needed it to do so. But it's got a, such a strong culture, and it's got a culture that's gone from generation to generation. And you still get those wonderful stories about uh, uh, fathers sending their, their their sons to the school, and uh, and and. The, it has been that it's gone beyond simply a sporting school known for its sporting success and it's certainly 
being now known for its academic success and its cultural uh, pursuits and a whole range of different things. And so it's been a, a really good option for, for boys now for some time to be able to attend here. Okay. Did you want to ask anything? I think Michael said it all. Yep. Again, thank you. Well, thank, you. Yep. thank you. Thank you, sir. Very well. Can we have a just pleasure.